Feature scope is the ability to target a feature at individual bodies in a multi-body part. We'll demonstrate how to apply feature scope to enhance your design capabilities. Here we have a paint mixer attachment and a reference hex driver. I'll hide the hex driver so we can focus on modifying the attachment. So first we have this cutout sketch and our goal is to apply this cut to only a select number of fins. If I try to use the revolve cut feature, you'll see it targets all the fins indiscriminately and I have no control over which fins to ignore. However, if I roll back, you'll see this part was designed from a single fin and that body was copied through a circular pattern. This is great because a key requirement of feature scope is that your targets have to be separate solid bodies. In fact, you can think of it as defining the scope of bodies to which this feature is applied. So I'll try that revolve cut again, but this time with feature scope in mind. Since I'm in a multi-body part, feature scope appears in the property manager, and you'll see that the default selection is selected bodies with auto select checked on. So to choose to apply this feature to every other fin, I need to clear auto select and then pick the target bodies from the graphics area. You'll see the selection box fill up and when I hit OK, only those three fins are cut, even though those other three fins were in that revolved path. So ignoring bodies is the key function that feature scope gives you. The question is, will they remain unselected forever? And the answer effectively is yes, but we're going to investigate the other options in feature scope to see how they handle bodies being added or subtracted. So we'll jump back into the revolve cut and you'll see two options to investigate. First, let's employ auto select. The feature targets all the bodies that intersect its path. And if I edit the feature, you'll see that all of the intersecting bodies have been collected in the selection box. Now, this is significant because this is what causes it to be different from the all bodies option. If I choose the all bodies option, again, all of the bodies in the path are affected but the difference lies in adding bodies. I'll go back to the circular pattern and increase the count to eight fins. You'll see that all eight are affected. But if I change back to auto select and increase the count again, you'll see the new fins aren't included because they weren't added to the selection box when the feature was applied. Now that we have these here, what happens if we remove the new bodies? These bodies are still affected because they were present during the initial auto select. Keep in mind that although we explored feature scope inside a revolve cut, many features contain feature scope, including material positive operations like boss extrude. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please like and subscribe, leave a comment on what stood out to you, and visit us at hawkridgesys.com.